Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we have a very special unboxing because this is my 26th birthday present to myself from me. And if you want to know what's inside, then keep on watching. All right, you guys, so today we're gonna do a little fake unboxing because I've got this two days ago and I've already used it, but I tried to pack it up nicely. I hope I did an okay job and I wanted to share with you what is inside. But first of all, I wanted to share with you what came with the packaging. So I ordered this piece directly from the Louis Vuitton store in uh, Germany and I wanted to uh, share with you what I got. So with this package, I got this little box that looks like nothing really and they always try to make it like very safe so that's why they don't put any branding on the box but the package only is accepted when i am there to um, get it and i also need to show them my id so they can confirm that it is my order so that is all the safety measures that they take for louis vuitton pieces so yeah that's what i did i had a little bit of a hassle it came with you Yes, and I wasn't there for four times because they came uh, like four days in a row at the same time and I'm never home at that time so it was kind of a hassle but I uh, changed the delivery to another time and I thought that they, they wouldn't like be able to uh, like reschedule that to that specific time but they did so the driver was really nice and I also gave him a tip because I was really happy to finally receive my package and then it came with this little envelope which doesn't have anything in there it just has a plain paper so I don't know what that is for but yeah anyway and then it came with all of the paperwork so I have my receipt, I have my return label if I wanted to return it, but I'm not going to. Then, yeah, I have my little, yeah, this is my receipt, but it just says, um, yeah, what it is. So it's a Zoe wallet. And yeah, then I just have like the receipt online on my phone. They send it to me by email. So I always have it with me. That's amazing. And they also, I feel like they also save all of the receipts in your online account. If you have a Louis Vuitton online account, they will save your receipts so you will always have access to them, which is amazing. So um, that was all of the paperwork that I got. And then I have this little box. <laughs> so, sorry, I'm looking at my dog. I never show my dog on here, I think. So I'm going to share with you. Come here, Maya. So this is my dog. She doesn't like to be picked up, but this is Maya. She's a little rescue dog from Italy. We now have her since four months. And she's the sweetest little nugget in the whole wild world. We don't know exactly what kind of breed she is, but we, we think it's a pincher and also a chihuahua. So she's kind of tiny and super cuddly and warm because she just took a nap. So she, she just wanted to say hello. All right, then let's proceed with the unboxing. So this is the Louis Vuitton box that I got and I'm gonna open it really quickly. So with this cute little ribbon and then the stereotypical Louis Vuitton draw box. So I'm gonna open it up and came in this little small dust bag, which is super cute. And then you just open it up and inside is my ta -da 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 new Zoe wallet. Um, as you guys know, I talked about getting either the Victorine and the Zoe wallet. And I chose the Zoe wallet because I wanted something smaller. I will show you my old wallet in a minute to kind of compare the sizing. This one is quite small, but I really much like it. And I think it's super cute. It fits all of my essentials and I wanted a smaller one to fit into my tiny bags. So this one is perfect for that. So um, this is uh, the Zoe wallet in the rose ballerine and monogram colorway. It has a back pocket. This one stores just two of my like most important cards. And then it has a gold button. And then if you open it up, you will see inside. I will definitely try and get it hot stamped here with my initials. I think you can do it here, which I think is super cute. And then you have space for um, some bills and then you also have a little coin zipper compartment and this little zip right here and it's just really easy it fits all of my cards that i need i have them stacked 
double, I think. So I have two in here, two. I have eight cards in here and then I have my nail card in the back here and some bills and a couple of euros in here. This one is quite deep. So you cannot fit a lot of change, but I usually just change out. Like I have a little jar where I just pop in all of my change. And then uh, once a year I go and get it on my bank account. And it's usually like a lot of money. It's usually like 200 euros or something like that, which is amazing. So yeah, basically why did I choose this? So this is my old wallet. This is a coach wallet that I've picked up two years ago from the Black Friday sale. I've had a Tory Burch wallet before that and I trashed it. Like the zipper broke and then there's nothing really you can do about that. So I picked this one up. This one was a really handy dandy companion. So this is more like of a full size. So this you could compare to the Victorine wallet. Um, if you want, by the way, because one of my friends owns the Victorine wallet, if you want, I could do a comparison between the Zoe and the Victorine wallet. So maybe if your guys are trying to decide on which to go for, maybe that will help you out. So I can ask her to borrow the wallet and I could do a comparison if that's something you guys want to see. But as you can see, it's um, quite a little bit shorter but also like from thickness wise it's quite the same amount and then it's a little bit higher too so this one is just pretty compact this is basically the same size as my six ring key holder except it's a little bit broader and i really like it because i feel like this um leather even even though it's kind of smooth leather it will definitely scratch but i feel like this will still look good for a long time and i just think this is something so special and i just love louis vuitton leather as well i think they're super amazing quality and i just think it's super cute for if you want to pack it into um, a little smaller handbag because it won't take as much space as other um, wallets may take. And this one I paid 365 euros for um, currently. After the price increase, it still stayed the same. So I'm not sure if they will also hike up the prices for this one. I know the Victorine wallet is currently 385 euros, so only a 20 euro difference. So I think um, if you're deciding between the two, maybe that wouldn't um, affect your or that wouldn't impact your decision process that much. But I really, really like it. I think it's super cute. I think it's super handy. I like that you have the back cards here. I just have my ID and my driver's license because those are the most important. And but you could definitely put your most used credit or debit card in the back there if you want easy access. That's also something that you could do. And yeah, I just overall really like it. It's really compact. Like it's um, quite small, but the I like that it has this um, little pop button that uh, closes really easily. And yeah, I think it's just a really cute addition. I've always wanted a more luxury wallet, but I couldn't decide. So I think this is a great, great decision, especially because I'm, I tend to go for smaller bags at the moment a lot. You know that I have my small shaggy moose bag and um, this fits perfectly in there. And yeah, I also have like my nano speedy bag that is quite small. So um, this is definitely easier if I want to take a little bit more stuff. This is easier to take with me. So I really, really like it. Yeah, tell me down below if you also own this wallet and what you think about it um, and maybe if you own the Victorine wallet which one do you prefer I think this would maybe help a lot of people out and yeah I hope you enjoyed this little small short unboxing with me um, I will get back to the review if you guys want to just give this video a thumbs up and tell me down below and I hope you liked it and I will see you for my next video bye guys